This weekend, mums across the country will wake up to presents and cards on Mother's Day, but no gift is as precious as McDonald's. Now, this determined Sydney mum, and believe me, she is, she's a special woman, has been fighting to save her children from their rare, deadly disease, and now she's been given the best Mother's Day gift. Her tireless work has secured a groundbreaking drug trial in Australia. This morning, we have exclusive details of this new groundbreaking medical research that could save not just Meg's children, but other Aussie kids too. Eight-year-old Isla and her six-year-old brother Jude have all the energy and smiles of healthy children. Hi, Hi. <laughs> but on the inside, they're suffering. They're diagnosed with San Filippo syndrome. Basically, they said, go home and love your kids because there's nothing you can do. That was it. Life expectancy is only around 15 years old. They lose the skills that they've developed, the ability to walk and talk, lose their cognitive skills, um, develop dementia, and it's a, it's a very sad and, and um, slow progress to the end. One in 70,000 children are born with this inherited condition. Unknown to Meg and Al, they both carried the faulty gene and both passed it on to their children. We had a one in four chance of any pregnancy that we had resulting in this condition. So to have two kids out of two with it is just really bad luck. And the doctor said, don't go chasing cures because you can't, it's not going to come in time. But Meg's tenacious as she is, she went out and created the foundation. Megan refused to give up finding a way to save her children and started the San Filippo Children's Foundation. I first met them three years ago. She's now raised $2 million towards research projects, including developing a breakthrough drug. There was only the US trial site. Um, at that stage, there wasn't an international site. And so we, as a foundation, began talking to the biotech around, is there a way that we could possibly set up an Australian site and replicate what was happening in the US? And three years later, the drug trial has just one Australian approval. Yeah, and that is big news. Meg and her two children, Isla and Joyd. Jude, join us now. Good morning to you all. Uh, Meg, I know how hard you've worked to try and secure this funding uh, into this disease and bring the drug trial to Australia. It has been a big campaign of yours, true parent power. But as cruel as the disease is, it could be even more cruel. Will your children actually be part of the trial? There's no guarantee, right? No, there's not. And I mean, the answer to that question is we really hope that they will be part of the trial, but it's an experiment and they need to have a very strict criteria so that the drug has the best chance that it, that it can um, in showing that it works. And so if Isla and Jude don't meet the criteria, um, they won't be selected. But I guess we look at that as um, it's a positive that the trial is here and we know that there will be a group of children here in Australia who will get the drug and who otherwise wouldn't have. So Meg, we, we hold on to that. As we saw from that story, your husband just said, when uh, the kids were diagnosed, doctors told you to accept your fate and not chase cures. What was it inside you that made you start this foundation and fight for this? Well, I guess... Um, the, the first thing we did was start to research and we discovered two really important things. So the first thing was that research was further along than we understood initially. And the other thing was that research was only where it was because families like ours had really driven it. Um, this particular trial was originally funded by um, families in North America, in, in the US and Canada. Um, and if they hadn't done that, then this trial wouldn't be here today. So we're really just building on what they did. So when we discovered that, I guess we, we saw um, an opportunity and also um, and we saw an opportunity there look <laughs> sorry one of the things about these children is that they're very hyperactive we have behavioral issues yeah. yeah so we saw an opportunity but we also felt we had a bit of an obligation to to make that um, happen for, for Australian children here yeah, you've got your hands full I don't know how you do it Meg but look yeah. just interestingly it, it, it is a one-off injection if, if it works properly how does that affect the children and has it been successful in that trial in the US already so the trial has begun in the US it's been going for about a year um, the, the early stage results do look very promising um, there's certainly a biological effect that they're seeing and the hope is that that will be sustained over time and that that will also translate to a cognitive improvement so um, I guess we're hopeful that 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 it continues as a global trial and that, that mm. children here in Australia have that same opportunity and, and, and get the benefit. Mm. All right, well, well done on you. It is true parent power. You've done an incredible job here. You do have your hands full. They're gorgeous Thank kids, you. though, and this is a huge breakthrough. So a lot of hope. Oh.
really happy for you. Absolutely, and, and obviously haven't done it alone. We've, we've had an amazing amount of support from our San Felipe community and incredible doctors. Mm. Um, Dr Nick Smith at Adelaide Women's and Children is, is um, a true gem and we're very lucky to have someone of his capability. Yeah, it's a good team. Mm. Meg, thanks Thank this you. morning. Wonderful. Good luck. <laughs>